to tech brothers in this video we're going to learn how to change startup time for dynamics ax services that is microsoft dynamics ax services the reason i'm putting this video out whoever installed microsoft dynamics ax on windows 2008 r2 uh, 2008 r2 startup services uh, default time is 30 seconds usually microsoft dynamics ax services takes more than 30 seconds so when you're start restarting or starting the services um, in Microsoft Dynamics AX in the Services Manager, uh, it times out. System will warn you that it has timed out. No need to get panic. You can just click OK and keep refreshing the services until they are in running state. Unless there is real issue that is preventing a Microsoft Dynamics AX services to start. But um, if it's a timing issue, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Uh, keep in mind that uh, in Windows 2 2012, they have increased that default time. I am not 100% uh, uh, sure, but I believe that it is 120 seconds instead of uh, uh, 30 seconds. But uh, we're going to, um, in this demo, we're going to change Microsoft Dynamics AX services, uh, basically, to uh, take 120 seconds uh, before it will prompt us. Uh, that uh, 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 starting services has timed out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. Here is my ser server where I have installed uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX. So I'm going to go ahead and log into that. It's a registry setting. Uh, this is Microsoft Dynamics AX services. If you right click and restart, uh, this is again. Um, this is uh, uh, operating system 2012 server server 2012 uh, uh, R2 so uh, enterprise version uh, that's why it it may uh, when you restart it most of the time for me it goes in running state before it gives me uh, error message because it completes within 120 seconds but um, I'm going to show you that if uh, you're using Windows 20 2008 R2 then how to change that it's a registry change so make sure that you back up your registry don't try this uh, in production server before you do it on your dev and test so that's uh, the caution that you need to take click on uh, run and write re uh, reg edit here click OK and um, these services up here is under uh, local machine and then you go in system and under system there is a folder called current control control set and uh, under that there is a folder called control as soon as you will click on control uh, following uh, on the right side as you can see things will uh, appear and um, up here I have uh, already changed it just uh, in another demo so what I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and we're gonna do it again so uh, this will be the default right here uh, the uh, control you will see so what we're gonna do is right click and click on new and we're gonna select D word 32-bit value <clears throat> here we need to rename it and put it as service pipe timeout <clears throat> excuse me and once you do that once you rename that service uh, we're gonna go ahead and change the value of it and to change the value of any service you're gonna go ahead and modify that service right click on that and click on modify here is the value data so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it to 120 uh, and this is specifically for Windows 2008 R2 so we're gonna go ahead 120 120,000 so that means 120 seconds because it's a millisecond uh, it takes us a millisecond so if we put 120 seconds then uh, it'll be um, two minutes or um, 120 seconds so we're gonna go ahead and click OK so since our registry is changed this is basically it how you do it but uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, just see that if it's uh, effective since it's, it's um, Windows 2012 it might not really change much so I'm gonna go ahead and in services and click OK and go to the uh, Microsoft Dynamics services I'm gonna go ahead right click and restart before in, in, in Windows 2008 R2 if you go there uh, within 30 seconds if uh, they will take um, Microsoft Dynamics AX will take more than 30 seconds it's gonna go timeout but um, uh, this is how you change uh, the startup time uh, the reason I'm putting out there a few people really get panicked about it 
So in order to prevent that panic uh, um, situation, uh, I thought that I'll go ahead and uh, put up the video that how to change actually the default setting of Microsoft Dynamics AX services to start. So I hope it helps. We're going to see that um, if uh, it times out. And as you can see that it didn't time out in Windows 2000 and R2, it will time out because it's more than 30 seconds since it took uh, to restart. And um, this is how you change the registry setting. Uh, make sure that you do it in production, uh, uh, and do it in dev and test before you try it in production. And I hope this video helps.